boy, boy, boy. What do we have here? Two PlayStation 5 controllers. That only means one thing, that we actually was able to get a PlayStation 5. It only took me two days of staying up until about three o'clock in the morning to uh, secure a PlayStation 5, and that wasn't easy. I literally did not know if I actually got it or not, but it showed up. <laughs> Man, oh man, oh man. I've had one hell of a crazy month, man. Um, and the highlight of the day, or let's say the highlight of the month, was basically getting that PS5. After sitting at that freaking desk in my office two days in a row, from sun up until about three o'clock in the morning, I, <laughs> I finally was able to secure a PS5. But the worst part about the whole month was the wife had COVID-19. None of us could believe it. So basically what happened, she tests positive because she needed to have a test done. And then two days later, after we found out she tested positive, we get tested, we're negative. But the thing was, we shouldn't have got tested two days later. It should have been, I guess, seven days later after she tested positive. But so anyways, we got tested, we were negative. But like I said, from what we understand is we should have waited a little bit longer. But they wanted us to test again. I said, no, nah, I'm not testing again. Just assume that me and our daughter has COVID. We have COVID-19, just assume that, right? So we all went on lockdown. Um, we agreed to go on lockdown as far as quarantining ourselves. We literally went nowhere for three weeks. We had food delivered here, left on our porch and <laughs> stuff like that. Um, so that means this thing has been sitting for three weeks, right? But we got cleared this weekend, uh, not this weekend, for Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving day, we got cleared. Well, me and my daughter, my, my wife got cleared, I think a week ahead of us, but we had to stay in quarantine because they wanted to wait after she was asymptomatic. We're all, we all were asymptomatic, so no one pretty much had any symptoms. But anyways, that means this has been sitting here for a couple of weeks. I took a ride Sunday, had a little group ride, with a bunch of guys on Sunday, which was pretty awesome. But I noticed some things happening when I was um, riding, and that's what I wanna talk about today. Okay, so first things first. While I was riding this weekend, um, Sunday to be exact, I noticed that my quarter fang here was doing this number, just shaking like crazy while I'm riding down the street, right? And we were, uh, we, we rode a pint like 300 miles this weekend. Um, it was shaking like hell. So and then I realized something was wrong. Something was broken on my quarter fairing. And for the life of me, I don't understand how something could be broken. So I'm gonna pull this off here in one second and I'm gonna show you exactly what's broken on my quarter fairing. Check it out. You notice anything missing right here? If I can get it to focus, you see how there's this little uh, prong here that goes into the little rubber grommets on that side. If you can see, let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus right here. Okay, right here, look. So if you can see, there's these two rubber pieces here. I mean, these two plastic little points here. Well, guess what? This one on this side is broken. This one completely snapped off. And I have no idea, absolutely no idea how that happened. I don't know. I haven't dropped this motorcycle on the, like at all on the quarter fairing. Like there's no scratches on the quarter fairing. Um, I've never brushed into it, nothing. So I'm not sure. So that's one of the big issues that happened while I was riding this weekend. Now also when I was riding this weekend, I started to notice like at 55, around, around 50 to 55 miles an hour, I was having some crazy like pulsing in the front here. Like it would pulse in the front and then it would go through the whole motorcycle, which was weird. So it made me believe there was maybe some ABS brake issue or something. So listen, I just hit 5,000 miles on this thing. So I'm gonna be taking this motorcycle in for uh, service. I'm gonna have them potentially, I guess, 
figure out if there's any type of brake issues or, or something going on. Um, I, I simply just don't know. But yes, yeah, some heavy pulsing in the front. And I mean like, it's, it's like a consistent pulsing. Like it, it's not consistent where it always does it, but it's like a rhythmic pulsing, like it would vibrate and stop and then vibrate and stop. So it's weird. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this motorcycle, but that's the only potential mechanical issue I've had so far. Um, other than that, everything else has been working great. Um, I did change out my, um, my clutch levers and brake lever for black. Uh, that was something that I did do um, while all this stuff was going on before, actually before the whole COVID-19 thing, I did that, but I just haven't been making any videos. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's going on with the Lowrider S right now. Pulsing, um, I'm gonna go get it checked out as soon as I get this thing into service. Okay, so here's the deal. I, um, I just went in, I think Saturday, to check and see if there's a warranty on this thing. Apparently they have to get back to me in three weeks, within three weeks to let me know if the warranty is still good. I haven't even had this motorcycle a year. I've had this thing less than probably three or four months. So anyways, I don't know about all that, but I, here's my thing. Even if this is covered under warranty, um, I don't think I'm gonna buy another one. Listen, don't get me wrong, this has been great. But in my last video, I complained about wanting a larger windscreen or windshield. And I know someone mentioned Dirty Dixie and that was the plan before, you know, all of the COVID-19 crap happened. I'm not gonna say that again. <laughs> but anyway, that was the original plan, was to keep this fairing. And I was looking with, at the Dirty Dixie and I think they're named something else now. They're not even named Dirty Dixie anymore. And I think it starts with a D. But anyways, um, <clears throat> they actually make a windshield just for this quarter fairing, Harley Davidson quarter fairing. And it comes with the E clamps or C clamps on that, that holds this thing in place. That was the plan. But now that this thing has broken, and again, I don't know why it broke. It could have been something I did. I, I'm not gonna blame Harley Davidson uh, craftsmanship or uh, whatever, you know, or say this has been a terrible quarter fairing, cause it's not. This has been an outstanding quarter fairing all more than likely maybe something I did broke it. I don't, I, again, I don't know, but I don't think I'm gonna go with a Harley Davidson quarter fairing anymore. I think, unless they come out with something totally different, I think I'm gonna end up going with uh, Memphis Shades, uh, the Road Warrior or something like that. It's a little bit more sturdier uh, when it comes to attaching the quarter fairing to the bike itself. Um, I know it just feels like I'm falling right in line with everybody else, but I have to admit, they actually look pretty damn good on the motorcycle, man. Like this quarter frame looks really good on the, the Harley Davidson motorcycle, the, the Lowrider S, but I've always liked that freaking Road Warrior um, quarter frame. And obviously I would get the 11 inch windscreen or windshield on it. So that's, that's what I'm, I'm looking at right now. I'm looking to get a different quarter frame, because obviously I can't keep riding with this. It's just a matter of time before these snap off. Now, hopefully in a couple of weeks, they'll approve me on getting a, a different uh, quarter fairing from Harley Davidson. But even if that happens, like I said, I still might end up getting a Memphis shade or looking at a different brand of quarter fairing, uh, just to have something different and to have an, an actual option of having a larger windscreen and a better, fastening system that attaches to this bike. But that's it. Um, man, I've been doing a lot of group rides lately. And um, well, actually before the wife got sick, I was doing group rides, but we had stopped for a while. When it, in the summertime, we were doing group rides. I just never recorded it. But I think what's gonna happen now, I'm gonna start recording my group rides. If we have one this weekend, I'll definitely record it. We just had one this past Sunday. I mean, we went on US-1 on the coast of California. I mean, absolutely beautiful. And then we stopped in Santa Cruz. Like, I live in Santa Rosa. Look on your map, see what Santa Rosa is. I drove from Santa Rosa to South San Francisco to Santa Cruz. We met up in South San Francisco where I used to work. Um, but now I live in Santa Rosa, California. 
So on your map or your, on your phone, look, at, see, look and see what Santa Rosa, California is and look and see what Santa Cruz, California is. That's how far we actually rode, right? All the way to Santa Cruz. I mean, it was amazing. I had a blast. Um, beautiful, beautiful scenery. I'm going to start taking you guys on those rides with me, but we're going to have to get this figured out first. Uh, next time I check in with you, I might have already ordered a new quarter fairing, but that's it. This thing's going in for service. I'm going to get that, that vibration checked out, and then we're going to look at getting a different quarter fairing. See you guys in the next video.